time to film this prince, you see- I do not see you. Explain yourself. Well, I do video reviews of Disney merchandise and stuff. You know the company- I do not know you. Who are you? I'm the villainous prince. Hi guys, welcome to another video review. In this video, we'll be looking closely at the Alice in Wonderland 70th Anniversary Limited Edition doll. But before we actually look closely at the doll, can I just ask what is happening over in the States? Because there's actually chaos trying to get your hands on this doll. Now the story behind it is that the doll went on sale a couple of weeks ago as a pre-order and it was meant to be released on the 31st of August if I remember correctly. So people actually pre-ordered the item and of course the doll sold out. Then a week later she went on sale again and then Disney Store cancelled everybody's orders so everybody was left in limbo. So then she went on sale again but you have to be a CSC member to actually get the doll. But this turns out to be that you have to be a Disney customer service member to actually get the doll. So it looks like Disney Store is actually working their way through this mess and actually getting the doll to people who actually ordered her. So fingers crossed for everybody who actually ordered her, you may have her in your hands soon enough because I've actually heard from a few people in the past few um, days that actually have actually ordered her when she went live first time and actually just received her a couple of days ago. So once again, fingers crossed, you'll get hold of your Alice in Wonderland limited edition doll. So with that said, let's have a look at a close look at the Alice in Wonderland 70th Anniversary Limited Edition doll. I couldn't say it then for a minute. She'll be mad about you, simply mad. <laughs> and the woman's... So here is the Alice in Wonderland limited edition 70th anniversary doll, uh, which is limited to one of 7,900 in the world. Um, now, first I'll show you the box because the box is outstanding. Because if you're a collector of um, previous limited edition 17 inch dolls, you would have known that basically the box just usually comes in a basically a standard pattern um, but this is actually carried it on um, from the Cruella doll because the Cruella doll had um, artwork that actually matched the doll and on this doll again the pattern matches the doll because as you can see on her dress um, she's got the plants and the flowers from the um, garden that Alice walks into so the whole box is actually decorated with wildlife and flowers and it's just stunning and it makes the whole doll 10 times better because when Alice was first announced and it just shown the doll I wasn't that impressed I was like okay maybe yeah I'll get her but if I don't get her there's no loss but when the whole um package came out including the box I was like yes I need this doll because it's stunning um let's show you 360 of it of the actual box because it is just so colorful and the actual artwork that's actually on the doll herself actually comes from Murray Blur which is basically a Walt Disney artist um so I will take you um to the back okay let's see if we can get the actual wording up for you without the shine of the ring lights uh, first of all we've got Alice in Wonderland by Mary Blower and then up close we've got celebrate the 70th anniversary of Disney's Alice in Wonderland with this one-of-a-kind collection featuring the works of Mary Blower 
Disney legend Mary Blair began drawing at Walt Disney Studios in 1940. As a pioneer and leading female artist in her field, she was imaginative, colour, sty colour stylist, concept artist and designer. Blair worked on some of Walt Disney's most popular animated classics, but who were, it was her topsy-turvy, upside-down art style that lent itself masterfully to the film Alice in Wonderland in 1951. Create your own wonder Create your own Wonderland with this distinctive collection of items. So the box is actually covered in Mary Blair artwork. As you can see, we've got the white rabbit down there, and you've got Alice, and you've got the white rabbit's house, and you've also got a few hidden away, a few of the um, plant concept, well, I wouldn't say concept, but a few of the artwork for the plants in the garden that she goes into. Uh, butterfly up there, and I saw some kind of, there we go, on that side, just some more plants, and there as well. So the box is just outstanding, and she does come with a little sticker, which they don't usually do on limited edition items, but we've got Alice in Wonderland 70, art by Mary Blair. Okay, so... We're not here really to talk about the box, we're actually here to talk about the doll. So what I'm going to do is something that I don't usually do, and that's to take off the outer shell. Now, I hate doing that because I'm clumsy um, for doing it, but to get that off, I think I need to undo the ribbon. Yes, yeah, so you have to undo the ribbon to actually get into the doll herself. So, let's do that then. I hate doing this, I hate doing this. Let's see if she comes off. And so I'll show you. The, so you've got some design on the plastic sleeve itself, just like gold images there of Alice and some flowers around the whole, flowers around the whole border. Okay, let's take the plastic shell off. So here's the doll without the plastic um, sleeve over us, so there's gonna be no reflection. Um, straight away, there's actually artwork from um, Mary Blur at the back as well. And um, this is the scene where basically Alice is actually confronted with different directions which to go, so just behind here we've got over and back we've got down just there and some more directions and there's one actually right behind her that says that way um let's talk about the actual doll so we've got a lovely black headband here then moving down to her puff sleeve dress with contrasting collar bodice then working our way down to our full skirt with floral print and mesh underlay. And the pendulum at the waist with embroidered artwork. And 3D golden butterflies. So she's got lovely butterflies all around her on her waist. And then she's got lace trims and rhinestone, look I didn't say it, rhinestone embellishments. And classic shoes with 3D flowers. Uh, she has, and she's got white um, tights on her legs like she does in the movie. So it is a different doll to what actually what the animated movie is, but it's taking the mobile artwork and actually put them both together. And it's an astounding doll, I believe. The butterflies. Um, stand out. We've got the rhinestones here, again, stand, stand out. And what I've actually noticed, now someone can actually might tell me in the comments, but I believe this pattern does not repeat whatsoever on the skirt. I've not taken the actual doll completely out, but the pattern on this does not repeat, which I think, if true, is amazing because uh, it's all of the flowers in the flower garden. Um, singing, of course. So we, I don't know different types of flowers, uh, but we've got pink flowers there. Then the, I think they're poppies there. Then we've got the 
sunflowers and we've got more poppies there but they're not a repeat of these ones here outstanding doll um i think there's no flaws to her whatsoever she has got poseable arms and poseable joints if you want to take her out and she does come with a stand as well a doll stand so you can actually take the doll out of its box but i like to keep her inside the box um, let's talk about her head. Okay, let's talk about her head. Because one of the criticisms... Okay, let's talk about her head. Because one of the criticisms that she got was that this is an Alice in Wonderland body with a Snow White's head. Now, I'm actually looking at this doll as a whole... And I can't see that as Snow White. That is, to me, Alice in Wonderland. Um, I might be missing out on something, but it's an Alice head to me. Um, here we go. Here's a close-up. So that is the black headband I was talking about. She's got a lovely golden chain that I didn't mention before. And there's the golden butterflies. with the, And then you've got the rhinestones here. And again her shoes with the white tights and the 3d flowers she is an amazing doll this has got to be one of disney stores best limited edition doll they have actually done in ages and the one big criticism that disney store were getting were basically they're making the dolls look cheaper and cheaper this they're actually going the other way now this is actually amazing and it should be in everybody's collection um, of course, with a limited edition doll, you do get a, move that back, you do get, of course, the certificate, which is at the back. So let me just get this out. There we go. So at the back, you get your certificate. And there you go. So, of course, it just says, try and... Um, certificate of Authenticity Alice the Collector Doll This limited edition doll released in 2021 by Disney Store Has been carefully designed by Disney Store artists To ensure every detail has been captured This collectible doll is sure to be a treasure keepsake for many years to come And you've got your signature number there Which of course mine is 6164 of 7900 On the back you have just got some Disney Store British that I can't see through but I'm sure that yeah it's just a certificate in French so that is the Alice in Wonderland doll so there you go she's back in her box um do you agree with my score um let me know in the comments below um I've put her back together now. I'm not going to show you the back because I could not do the bow to save my life. Um, yeah, what do you reckon of the Alice in Wonderland doll? Uh, let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.